Okay, on numbers 7, 8, and 9, we are going to go ahead and use our graphing calculator to find um, the solution to each uh, system here. So <clears throat> number 7, we are good to go. We're going to go punch that into our calculator and graph it and run our intersect program. Same thing on number 8, and then we'll do number 9. But number 9... Um, I do need to rearrange a bit because it is not in slope intercept form. So before I switch over to my calculator, that top equation, I get to subtract an x, and I get y equals negative x plus 3 that I want to graph. On the other one, I need to do a little bit more work. I got to get rid of that 5x and that minus y, or that minus 1 in front. So I'm going to subtract 5x from both sides. Those are not like terms, leave them separate. And then I'm going to divide everything by negative 1. Watch your signs. And there is the second equation that I'm going to then graph. So this is the new one I want to graph on number 9. So let's go do number 7. So give me a second to switch over to that screen. Move my finger. All right, <clears throat> so y equals, and I guess it would have made sense if I would have kept open my system I can't see. One second, guys. So y equals x plus 3. So y equals, we type in x plus 3, enter. The second equation is negative 3 fourths x minus 4. Parentheses, negative 3 force x plus 4. Hit enter. Let me double check that. Oh, it was a minus 4, sorry. So I'm going to go back up there, use my directional pad, and change it to a minus sign. All right, if you've entered that incorrectly, you don't get an error message. You can hit graph, and you should be able to graph the two lines and see where they intersected. Now here, you could probably tell just by reading it, but when it doesn't have grid lines, it's sometimes hard to see the exact uh, location. So that's where we hit second trace to activate the calculate feature. And we choose number five. Option five, you can just hit number five for your shortcut. Now, what this is saying here is you gotta know how to use your operating system. Just like your Apple phone or your Android phone, you gotta learn the operating system. Use the operating system here. Does it when they say first curve, you sure you want to grab that first line, and you sure you want to grab that second line, and really what sure that you want to go ahead and tell me what the intersection is, that's what it's doing. And that flasher is going to move to right here, and it's going to show you the answer right below. Negative 4, negative 1. So negative 4, negative 1. Now, with that negative 4, <coughs> negative 1, it also happens to be, the other thing they asked me is what quadrant we are in. And remember your quadrants are one, two, three, and four. Positive, negative, positive, and negative, negative, positive, negative. So negative, negative tells me we are in quadrant three. Make sure you answer both pieces. Number eight. Now number eight, before I even graph this one back with you, my calculator, I know I'm going to get a no solution. And the reason why I'm going to have parallel lines here is because I have um, same slope and different y-intercepts. So when we did graphing, that's what's going to happen here. Now let's go graph it out. So let's go and clear out that last system. Clear, clear. And let's type in the next one. Negative 3x minus 2. Negative 3x minus 2. Enter, negative 3x plus 2. Enter. Graph it. And there is my parallel lines. These will never intersect. Therefore, I have no solution. And I don't know what quadrant that solution would be in because there is no solution. So you're going to tell me we have a no solution here. Okay. And I'll finish it off. I say no solution because same slope and different y-intercept. The last one, I should get a solution, so let me go ahead and clear out, and I'm going <clears> to <throat> type in negative x plus 3 and 5x minus 3. Let's see if I can remember that. Okay, negative x 
plus 3. And I guess I'm on the second one. It doesn't matter. Negative x plus 3. And the other one was uh, 5x minus 3. 5x minus 3. Hit enter. Graph it. I can see the solution right here. It's in quadrant 1. Second trace to activate the calculate features in option 5. Yes, yes, run it right there at 1, 2. You guys do all this work for me next week on the quiz, you'll be looking very